Hello, how is everybody doing? How has everybody been? Your girl is back. Your girl is back, back in action, ready to chat it up, ready to give y'all a little Sunday reset and also ready to update y'all on what I've got going on. I know I have been gone for a really long time and there definitely has been a reason for me gone for a really long time. And today we're just gonna do a full reset. I've actually been away from my apartment for like, two months and i'm gonna give y'all the timeline as to like why or when i've been gone or where i've been at and why i'm just now getting back home i'm kind of sort of out of breath because i ran downstairs to grab something and then i came back upstairs so that's probably why so i really feel like i need to give y'all the timeline as to where i've been and what i've got going on so about a month and a half pushing two months ago I was in Georgia I was in Georgia with a so he's my best friend dad but he's basically my my dad so I was out there with him and he was kind of just like letting me have a little getaway talking to me about some life things that I wanted to get done moving and transitioning into like a new period into my life and then after that I went on a trip to the UK I did a photo shoot with Jim Shark and I really wanted to get you guys that content but when I got there I was working the entire time the first day I got there was a little jet lag so I hopped off the plane and went straight to bed slept the entire day into the next day I think there's like a five hour difference but anyways step into the next day after that I worked the entire first day that I was there did photo shoots was changing all that kind of stuff the entire first day and then the second day the first half of it was doing all of my shoots like doing more shoots and stuff like that and then I left that evening so I really was trying to just embrace being there and me vlogging and getting footage was like the last thing on my mind because I really wanted to enjoy my time there and I also wanted to say I appreciate everybody that sent me like a screenshot saying that they saw the ad or saying that you know they were happy for me and proud of me I couldn't respond to all y'all but I am so grateful that y'all took the time to like reach out to me and say something even though I didn't say anything back and I greatly apologize. But I am very, very thankful for those of you that were showing me love and support. After I got back from the UK, I was in South Carolina for a little bit with my peoples and then also with um, Nate. And then after that, I took like a spontaneous trip. Well, me and Nate took a spontaneous trip to Maryland. He met my people. Then I came back and was in South Carolina again for a little minute and then went back to Maryland to help my best friend, the best friend I was talking about, help her with her fashion show. She's in fashion school, was there for a few days. Then we just got back today. The time is currently 12.56. My flight landed back here in North Carolina at 10.30. Came home, checked my mailboxes, figured out everything that I had to do. Started some laundry and I was like, I need to check in with my peoples, let them know that I'm still alive and get back on my Zoom. Your girl is here to stay. I think your girl's here to stay this time. I was just talking to my family because they were asking me like how everything was going in life and that's what we're gonna chat about later. Today is a Sunday reset, but I also want to do a little girls talk and kind of just like, share what I got going on, be a little vulnerable, and give y'all a little insight about what I got going on. And we'll do that later when I do a facial, but my family was asking, it was like, how's life been? And all that kind of stuff. And I was like, I really have been enjoying vlogging. Although I can't talk to y'all, like, physically talk to y'all and see y'all, I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the support, but I do honestly feel like I feel some of y'all's energy. I feel the love, I feel the support. So I have been enjoying vlogging and I was just like, y'all, I need to get back into that. And I loved, I don't know, I just like it. So I'm back, back to stay. Fingers crossed, I'm back to stay. But um, 
um yeah today is going to be a sunday reset since i've been gone for such a long time i just want to get my area and my space back to normal it's not dirty at all it's not dirty because i cleaned before i left but i do kind of just want to spot clean get my laundry going your girl has been living out of a suitcase for two months now let me show y'all though i just got a package i don't know if y'all know this i've talked so much about oxy shred that i am neglecting the fact that i have a minor well, I'm not even gonna say minor. I have an addiction to Alani. I love Alani. And they sent me, this is, what flavor is this? This is Witch's Brew. I've never had this flavor before, but I think because of the season change, Halloween is right around the corner. They're trying to get out this flavor, push this, and we're gonna try it right now. I got a new Stanley Cup. Your girl has been obsessed with Stanley Cups lately. I got a pink one. I wanna have a whole collection. I don't think we're going to travel with the pink one today because I think it would clash with my outfit. That's really why I've been collecting them because I wanna kinda of just be cute with my outfits and my Stanley Cups. But we're going to taste this one. I think I'm gonna put this in my white Stanley Cup. That's the OG, the OG cup is the white Stanley cup. So I usually only and ever put water into these cups, but because I've been gone, been traveling with these cups, I want to wash them. So I'm just gonna use it for right now because I know I'm gonna wash it once I get back from running my errands. This is what the can looks like. That's so cute. Actually, the first time I've ever got the straw to align with the Stanley logo. You know what I was just thinking as I was pouring that Alani in here? I think I may have a caffeine addiction. I say this because prior to my Alani addiction, prior to my Oxytrate addiction, I don't think Oxytrate has caffeine in it. Prior to my Alani addiction, I had a Starbucks addiction. I used to get a brown sugar shake and espresso. And then before that, I used to get a white mocha. And then I had a drink before that as well. But I'm talking every day pushing, well, I'm gonna say every other day because I don't think I had a coffee every day. I think I might have a caffeine addiction. And I say that because I went probably the past three, four or five days craving an Alani, craving some coffee. So that might be a thing. I honestly think I'm just like a cup girly. Like I like having something to drink. I've never drank so much water since having these. Granted, I still do drink an Alani, but I've never drank so much water since having these. I just think I like having a drink on me. I like, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but we're gonna try this. that's actually fire it kind of gives a green apple taste like a sour gummy taste I actually really do like that. I do have top three flavors if y'all would like to know. My favorite flavor is blue, blue raspberry or blue whatever, whatever the blue one is, I like that one. Then secondly, I like the comic cosmic dust. And then third, I like the Kim Kardashian one. I think it's in a pink container. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. That's really good and I'm addicted to Alani. So on the agenda for the rest of the day because it's 104. I'm going to continue to get my laundry going and then I'm going to go get my nails done. That's what I need to talk to y'all about. I have been feeling so disgusting because I haven't been able to get my nails done. I'm a lash and nail girly. I heavily rely on lashes and nails. I haven't had my nails done in two weeks, y'all. Struggling. Not to mention my toes, okay. <laughs> 
this I can't even believe I'm about to show y'all this but I was playing basketball I got acrylic toes I don't know what possessed me to get acrylic toes and also I know this little intro here is about to be a lot but I haven't talked to y'all in a long time and I missed y'all so if y'all don't want to hear me talk y'all can skip forward but this is me talking and chatting with y'all I was playing basketball went to do a move and I kind of I feel like the dude tried to trick me if I'm being honest but my foot ended up turning a, like a weird way. I stubbed my toe. I stubbed both of my big toes because you know with the acrylic toes it kind of like hangs off a little bit. So I stubbed both of my toes. I took the nail off of my left big toe because it was cutting off my circulation. Come to find out I have a huge blood blister underneath that and I'm gonna show y'all what that looks like. I'm so embarrassed to show y'all what it looks like. Nails, toes, re-up on everything, clean the apartment, laundry. We're gonna do a facial, have a nice little girl talk later. And then I also wanna just cook me a good meal y'all i just want to cook myself a good meal in my kitchen i've been cooking in everybody else's kitchen been cooking at my grandmother's house been cooking at my sister's been cooking at nate's been cooking at my uncle's been cooking everywhere else but my home so happy that i'm here i can just sit down we are decompressing from all the traveling sorry that i just talked a whole bunch but a whole bunch has been going on a whole bunch has been happening and i'm ready to just get back to y'all get back to vlogging i really did forget to show y'all my toe i kind of didn't want to show y'all my toe but i said i was going to show y'all so let me show y'all what we're working with on my toes this is so embarrassing but this is originally how the toe looked but not as grown out played basketball and it kind of just messed up my whole toe but as you can see underneath this one because i stubbed both of them there's like a little blood blister not as big as this one but it's still there. I know that was really gross and I'm so sorry for anybody that's disgusted, but I just felt as though y'all need to see how bad my toe was.
I low-key feel like y'all about to be like, this isn't really a home-cooked meal. But one, I knew it was going to be super, super late when I was going to eat. It's currently 11.38. So one, I knew it was going to be a really late meal and I wasn't trying to cook anything crazy. Second of all, I like spaghetti. I don't know about y'all, but I like my meat and my noodles separate because I don't like a lot of sauce sometimes. And I really can't stand when people pre-mix it. I don't know why it's like a huge pet peeve of mine. Let me tell y'all something. If y'all don't know how to cook, y'all need to learn. Cause it's just something about cooking a meal for yourself. Like, look at that. I have not eaten a lot today. Like that Caesar salad was really my first meal, but I had no protein in it. This morning, my flight left at 8.40 but where i was staying my grandparents house was like 30 40 minutes from the airport and you want to be like an hour and a half ahead of time for your flight so if the flight was even at 8 40 boarding was 8 10 so that means getting there at like 7 would be a good time or like 6 50. so if you backtrack that 30 40 minutes that's what 6 10 and then you gotta get up, get yourself together, put everything in the car. So that's another 30 minutes. Got up and got to the airport. By the time we got there, we were on a time crunch. So my breakfast was a Cinnabon from Cinnabon. Let me tell y'all something. I used to eat Cinnabon. I have a huge sweet tooth, but I used to eat Cinnabon almost every day because I would pass it on the way home from work. If I could tell y'all two things that I crave as far as sweets, one is going to be insomnia cookie i love 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 insomnia cookie two is going to be a cinnabon from cinnabon so that was breakfast and then when i got back so flight landed around like 10 30 got back home around 11 started vlogging and all that kind of stuff i think like 12 30 1 o'clock i had to get all my stuff in the house get myself situated and i've been going ever since my first actual quote unquote meal was the caesar salad but there was no chicken in it i don't know why i didn't get chicken i don't know if they even have the option to get a chicken caesar salad from panera they probably do that is just something that i really need to get better at i know there's definitely other girlies that struggle with consistent eating, especially when you're traveling. And that's something that I definitely need to start focusing on because when I travel and when I'm not home, I do not eat consistently. But when I'm home and there's groceries in the refrigerator, I'm just like, I bought these groceries. I'm gonna cook it. Like, of course I need to cook this food that I bought. And then secondly, I like to meal prep because it's already done and ready to go, especially if you have a busy day. Meal prepping is so convenient second order of business we need to try this cornbread i you know i have to oh it's falling apart i have to put um butter on every bite i don't need the health police checking me either y'all your girl has just been eating not bad because obviously this is not like a super healthy meal it's not like a bad meal but it's not quote unquote on the healthier side but anyways let me give y'all a little um update on what happened while i was at the nail salon first of all i like my nails of course it's not you know up to nail tech par but i will say i have a love-hate relationship for the asian shop versus actually going to a nail tech and i say i have a love-hate relationship because sometimes i like going to the asian shops because they don't make the acrylic super super thick but sometimes I like thick acrylic. It really just depends on what kind of set I'm going for. Today I was going for something a little bit more dainty. My nails have been jacked up so I didn't want to pile thick acrylic back on top of it. So I just went for like a cute little French tip. But the one thing that I don't like about the Asian shop is they never get the shape right. I am a square nail girly. I have been thinking about venturing out or venturing away from square nails i don't know i want to try almond but the girl that did my nails she was actually really really nice i actually think she was hispanic and it was so loud they were in there passing around candy and she kept trying to give me the candy i was like girl i do not want that candy but you know they always persuade you into getting something so we're gonna try it together this is grape gummy candy i'm pretty sure this is an age Ooh. 
done dropped in the spaghetti. I'm pretty sure this is an Asian candy. Please tell me why the girl was doing my toast. And I had told her prior, I said, look, they're a little jacked up now, so do what you can. I really told her to just do a clear coat over top of it. And she was like, you don't need to do a clear coat because your toes look so bad. So she convinced me into getting a color. It's kind of like this nude color, but a little bit more opaque than this color. It kind of gives like a soft pink, soft purple kind of color she did end up convincing me to get a color on my toes and she was so funny trying to get that acrylic off she said why would you do this you have such pretty toes i was like girl i do not know i really have no idea what possessed me to get acrylic toes it was probably one of the worst beauty decisions i ever made they're mad uncomfortable in your shoes because they're so thick and then i stubbed my toe and have a huge blood a huge blood blister not to mention the acrylic is so hard to get off i was watching her take the acrylic off my toes and i was like i'm so sorry and then afterwards i did do my research after i stubbed my toe i really should have did my research prior but a lot of the girlies a lot of the nail techs were saying that acrylic is too hard for your toenails because your toenails are actually really really soft so if you're thinking about acrylic toes and you're wondering this is your sign not to get them if you get acrylic toes and it works for you love that for you you like it i love it i say all that to say i had a successful nail trip my toes and my nails look 110 percent better and your girl is never ever ever going to get acrylic toes again so your girl is in the headspace of enjoying her meal i just want to sit here in peace enjoy this home cooked meal that i haven't had in a really long time i don't want to rush it I just want to sit down and enjoy my meal. So what we're going to do is eat and then afterwards we're going to do a nice little facial. Alright y'all, I know I'm looking a little crazy without my lashes on. Just washed my face, did the first little prep to our facial, which was cleaning. I like to clean all my piercings. If y'all don't clean your piercings, if you don't take your earrings out, take them out and smell them. And then you'll realize why you need to deep clean your earrings. And then my rook piercing right here, I don't know what the deal with it is. I know it's healed but it always has like crust in it no matter how many times I clean it every single day it's super crusty so first thing I like to do like I was saying is take out all my piercings all my facial piercings clean all of my piercings and then after that I start off with This thing was like overflowing. All the hot water just like popped onto me. That is not nice. Anyways, as I was saying, I like to start off with cleaning all my piercings. And after I clean my piercings, if I do take my lashes off, I don't take my lashes off every time, but if I do take my lashes off, I use the lash room. I use the lash removal. And then after that, I go in with the burst cleansing balm really really love this cleansing balm if y'all want to try it after that my cleanser is the CeraVe foaming facial cleanser really really love this so now that we're all cleansed your girl is going to dermaplane her face aka shave her face i got these razors 
from Target and these are cheaper or were cheaper than the female ones and I low-key high key feel like they're going to be a little bit more sharp because these are the men's razors I want to show y'all what I'm going to use in the past I've used aloe vera gel my OGs know I used to twist my hair with the aloe vera gel I used to do my derma planning with the aloe vera gel I used to do everything with it but one as far as my locks it wasn't holding my hair as much as I wanted it to as far as my hair my hair is just too thick for the aloe vera gel and it was not holding like I needed to hold especially with me being in the gym so what I start doing is using a gel plus I just feel like my locks are mature enough for me to start trying different products and seeing what works well for me so as far as my locks I switched to African Pride gel I don't know where it's at but I switched to that gel really really love that gel it's all I use in my hair I use that with a little bit of oil I like tea tree oil so I just used that the African pride I think it's black castor oil oh I also like castor oil but I think it's black castor oil gel I think that's what it is anyways I use that now with an oil and it keeps my hair held really really tight y'all I've had these in for almost a week no no I did them Wednesday I had them in for Wednesday I've had them in for four days, but I did go to the gym in them and sweat immediately after, like the day after I went to the gym and sweat in them. My hair still looks really, really good. Mind you, if I would have used the aloe vera gel, it would not look like this. So I recommend trying the African Pride in your locks. And then I also switched from using the aloe vera gel on my face because I felt like it was super, super drying. I switched to coconut oil, which is crazy because a long, long time ago, I tried to put coconut oil in my hair, like on my scalp, do like a hot oil treatment, and I broke out from it on my scalp. But for some reason, it doesn't cause any irritation to my face. So we're just going to stick with it until something happens. Hopefully nothing happens today because we're making the video. I said all that to say, we are going to double plane with coconut oil. First, I'm going to steam my face to lift up all the hairs. Then we're going to dermaplane with coconut oil. After we dermaplane, we're gonna go in with our face mask. So excited to share my face mask with y'all. Okay, y'all, that is all done. Let me show y'all my mask. I've been doing this mask since college. I've been doing it for a long time. I think like four years now. I really can't give y'all any measurements. Everything is just based on the consistency of the mix. It is going to be three different ingredients. Everybody loves Indian healing clay, so I have me some Aztec clay. I think you can get this just about anywhere. When I first started doing this, this product was super scarce. Now, I think you can get it at like Target, you can get it at the beauty supply store, I even think Walmart has it. I know I used to put this in my hair and use it as a hair mask, but I have locks now and I've been so afraid to put them in my locks because this clay is really, really thick and I'm just afraid that it's gonna get stuck in the locks. I like to activate my clay with Bragg apple cider vinegar. And then my secret ingredient, it's not really a secret ingredient because I feel like everybody does this, but the one thing that I feel like a lot of people don't use and they underestimate it. I mean, everybody buys like a turmeric bar of soap, but I don't see a lot of people just using plain old turmeric in their mask. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna mix up some clay with some apple cider vinegar and some 
turmeric if you don't want to use apple cider vinegar i know a lot of people don't like the smell of apple cider vinegar if you don't want to use apple cider vinegar you don't have to you can use water i'm just going to take about like two little scoops of this on the popsicle stick and put it in here i really don't like to make it a thick consistency because when i say this stuff is heavy and thick and hard to get off i actually had to call my maintenance guy one time because i was taking it off in the bathroom and it clogged my sink i'm gonna go in with about this much turmeric i'm gonna do cap sizes because i really don't want to be wasteful other times like if i wasn't making a video i would just pour it in there but i'm trying to not be wasteful i did two caps and that is absolutely not enough so let's do three more and you should see it like start to bubble like that. I don't know if I can see that or hear it. Definitely go to whichever consistency you want it to be. For me, this is too soupy. I don't like that. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of the clay. Let's see. Okay, so I like to go in. This is kind of too thick for my liking, but what I'm gonna do is just spread it very, very thin. Cause like I said, this stuff, oh honey, it is so hard to get off sometimes. All right, y'all, so I know I said that we was going to do a little girl talk while we did our facial, but I needed to focus. So we're gonna do our girl talk now while the face mask does its thing. I was gonna read, but I was like, I completely forgot. Let me turn this off. I was going to read, but I was like, let me talk to y'all, give a little update on what's going on. It's not anything crazy, like I'm, I'm not about to tell y'all some big news or nothing like that, but um, being very vulnerable with y'all is hard for me just because I always want to bring positive vibes. I always want to be motivating and inspiring to y'all. And I think sometimes I feel as though sharing things that I go through doesn't do that. I think I have to remember that sharing my journey and sharing things that are going on in my life could potentially help somebody else that's going through the same thing or even just like connecting and supporting in whatever like we're going through for real, for real i do not know the answers we're all out here just trying to make it we're all out here just functioning on faith that's really where i'm at right now just like functioning on faith um trusting in god and a lot of things that are going on in my life but um just being vulnerable at this very moment i did recently get into a relationship it was a very unexpected relationship but you know god's timing but just like talking with him about some stuff that he's been through kind of opened my eyes to just share with y'all what i've been going through because like i said we could be going through the same thing and we could connect, we could support, we could whatever. Prior to everything that's been going on, your girl has just been sad. And it took for somebody to tell me that I was sad. If you're a strong person, if you grew up trying to be strong for people around you, for your family, whatever the case may be, you, your mind kind of puts you in a... I don't need help or I have to be strong or be perceived as a strong person. But first of all, I want y'all to know getting help or admitting that something is wrong is not a sign of weakness because you, every nobody's perfect, okay? And that's something that I had to realize, but nobody's perfect and you need a support system and you need to express what's going on. So before my relationship, before all my traveling, I was just sad, y'all, like your girl, was sad and i think i was sad because i felt stuck i had a lot of things that i didn't release still missing my mom some things that happened in the past some trauma all that kind of stuff i think this is peeling 
it's starting to dry up and peel if it peels please just don't mind it if it falls don't mind it but um just a whole lot of things that i was dealing with mentally and emotionally but kept telling myself like you're strong you're strong you're strong you'll get through it which is fine and you can be strong but it's even stronger to address those things it's even stronger to seek help because like i said you don't know all the answers and having an outside perspective sometimes somebody that you can trust don't be out here just sharing your business but having somebody that you can trust or having a therapist mentor whatever that can give you some guidance in that area is helpful like it helps you get out of your own head and that's really where i was at i was sad in my own head not really reaching my full potential didn't really care didn't none of that but i didn't know that i was sad i said this in my last video that i was sad but i didn't really explain or talk about it i moved from south carolina to north carolina with the intent to kind of just clear my mind but after chatting with nate i just realized that i was trying to run away from a lot of stuff like south carolina so much stuff happened to me in just a short amount of time i didn't grow up in south carolina i'm not from south carolina i'm from maryland but so much had happened had happened to me in such a short amount of time that i was just like i gotta get out of here like this place is sucking the life out of me but then when i moved it kind of heightened everything and then i realized honey you're running from yourself and that's not gonna happen yeah you're strong and you may be emotionally intelligent you may be whatever but you need to address these things or you're going to continue to be in a rut you're going to continue to not care so this whole period of me being gone i have been doing a lot of self-reflection because it's nobody's fault but mine i need to address whatever i have going on mentally whatever i have going on emotionally i'm doing a lot of self-reflection about myself about who's in my life about my environment and it's so crazy i removed so many people out of my life and it's crazy because nate was like remove these people out of your life and then see who checks on you and it may have been two people that checks on me he's like not everybody is your friend and some people are there just to be there and you know how you'll see things on instagram or like you'll see little posts on tiktok or whatever and it's like um keep your circle small but you literally have to keep access to you small you know what i'm saying just the just the access of somebody being able to text you or call you or know that you follow them or that they can you know do something it's everything like you have to keep your entire circle small because you don't realize that everything around you affects you whether um big whether small everything affects you a simple text from somebody that doesn't have good intentions with you can mess up your energy a simple text from that family member that you know is toxic can mess up your energy a simple text from an ex that you are over or that you know you pay no attention but he could still text you or she could still call you whatever the case may be all of that you need to cut your circle small because it is affecting you and i i'm just over everything honestly i am so happy with being at peace with myself having my family around me having nate having uh my two three little friends so yeah y'all i took some time to do some self-reflection what i really wanted to do because it was getting to the point where i wasn't even feeling like posting honestly because my mind was just like what's the point in my self-reflection as i said earlier i definitely enjoy making content i think the the one thing that i enjoy the most is doing vlogs and stuff on youtube just because i feel like it's a little bit more intimate so now we're here you know your girl cares now your girl has been praying praying so much to god your girl i i encourage y'all call it cliche call it whatever you want to talk to god 
yes have like an outlet have a support system have somebody you can go to but if you are not talking to god if you are not putting god in the forefront of your life you are already 10 steps behind because you are not going to be happy in life if you're not in god's will you're not going to be happy in life if you don't have a relationship with him i also kind of just got to the point where i was sick of being sad or i was sick of not feeling i definitely knew that something was going on but i didn't know just what and it took for nate to be like brianna wake up it took somebody to be like hey you are not functioning at your highest potential you are a lot better than just so yeah y'all that's really what's going on that's my little girl talk my little update that i needed to have with y'all if anybody was waiting for the girl talk i really hope that that was worth the wait i'm gonna try this asian grape gummy candy that i was telling y'all about earlier that i got from the nail salon i kind of should not eat it right now because i did brush my teeth but a little gummy not gonna hurt nothing. It smells like grape soda. You know, I never really been a grape fan. I don't know how long we've been chatting, but this mask is starting to peel and dry. Do you see? Um, this is still a little damp, and then this is super dry, and I don't know if it's just the thickness of it i feel like i did add a little bit more in um certain areas i'm gonna wait and see if this turns to this lighter color maybe it needs to dry a little bit more i think we're gonna give it like another 10 minutes and then just wash it off all right y'all the face mask is all washed off i had to wash it in the sink like the big sink in the kitchen because i didn't want to clog this sink up i think i'm coming down with something I'm very short in breath and I think I'm getting a little congested. So bear with me for a second. I don't really know what I got going on. But I did take the face mask off. Skin is looking clear. I do think that I left the mask on longer than what I needed to. You know how you wear a headband for too long and it leaves like a ridge on your forehead or like a scarf and it leaves a little ridge on your forehead. I think that's what the mask did to my face, y'all. I got the scrolling on TikTok. I wasn't, okay, I wasn't scrolling on TikTok. I was looking for inspo. I haven't really been scrolling as of lately. I've really just been looking at aesthetically pleasing stuff. So hopefully the little ridges go away in the morning. I think they are gonna go away because just in the amount of time of me putting the rest of my stuff on my face they have gone away i did go in with some toner the toner that i used was the ordinary i really am just trying to use it till it um goes out because i've been using the cerave toner and then i also went in with the ordinary vitamin c absolutely love the ordinary vitamin c next i went in with the ordinary niacinamide serum i usually don't use that on my face but it was in there and i just wanted my skin to look extra glowy today after that i go in with my eye cream if y'all know me was that upside down there i go if y'all know me y'all know i swear by this eye cream first of all this is Okay, I have used another eye cream. I've used the viral one on TikTok, the Korean skincare um, eye cream. Did not like that eye cream at all. I actually feel like it dried my eyes out. But I swear by this eye cream, if I could recommend anything in my face routine, it's going to be the CeraVe Foaming Cleanser. I love, 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 love that face wash and then the CeraVe eye repair cream. After I went in with my eye cream, I went in with the Daily Moisturizing by CeraVe. And then last but not least, I went in with a sunscreen. I don't know where it is, but I do put sunscreen on my face at night and during the day. If you're not putting on sunscreen at night and in the morning, try it. It is definitely a game changer. It keeps my skin extra moisturized and dewy looking. I always kind of just throw on sunscreen whenever I need to rejuvenate my skin. If we need to talk about something, let's talk about these glasses. I got these blue light glasses from Target today. 
and I also got a case for them got these glasses in a case because I broke my last ones well my nephew broke them but I really shouldn't have let my nephew have them and I also should have a case for my glasses so I got a case and then I also got these I usually wear a black frame but these were the only ones that Target had that I liked I think once I have my lashes on and all my jewelry and I got myself together these will probably look a lot better right now I'm giving um old lady so with that being said your girl might start getting into moo moo nightgowns I actually like wearing big t-shirts to sleep so I feel like maybe getting a couple moo moos would be cute you want to know how i know that i've missed y'all and that i love y'all it's 303 and i am up talking to y'all like we are on facetime not to mention i did drink that alani but i drank it at like two three o'clock so i really don't think i should be having the effects of it right now i did say that i was feeling a little bit under the weather so maybe that's got me up. As much as I would love to stay up all night chatting to y'all, I definitely have to go. I need to try to go to bed because lately I've been waking up at like seven o'clock. Hopefully my body doesn't naturally wake me up at seven o'clock tomorrow. It's three. Realistically, I probably won't fall asleep till like 3 30 4 o'clock and that only gives me three hours of sleep i love y'all i've missed y'all so much i hope y'all missed me and i'm happy that i'm back i'm happy that we're chatting it up and i'm gonna try to get some sleep love you bye